Ajiahal, hello everybody. For this short video, I will just briefly talk about fine art, pick up few movements and interesting disciplines from 2D to the new technologies today. Since art exists, it has always evolved and artists have always adapted their art to the world they were living in, trying to break the rules, rebellion in a way of using shapes and colors. If we look at the art from 1900 until now, the most significant aspect is that artists always try to push the limits, have been influenced by what has been done before and try to make something new out of it. We will talk briefly about cubism, pop art, performance art, video, and the new technology that appears in art since many years. Art always evolves. It is never boring. There are infinite ways of expressing yourself and being passionate about art is the most important thing if you want to be an artist. In 2018, people are still painting, sculpting, taking photographs, printing, creating video, installation and performances. In 2018, even more than before, art can be anything and can be, it can be created by anything. The Cubists were also intrigued by the work of Cézanne, but their interest was in form more than color. They were interested in the relativity of changing viewpoint as affected by either change of position in space or time. The attempt was to show all points of view simultaneously. The broken faceted surface were impressed expression of this relativity, as well as being an exploration of the underlying shape relationships. Often reduced to their basic geometric components, the handling of form, particularly of human form, was also inspired by African sculpture. Major Cubist artists included Picasso and George Braque. Pop art is an art movement that emerged in Britain and in the United States during the mid to late 1950s. The movement presented a challenge to traditions of fine art by including imagery from popular and mass culture, such as advertising, comic books, and mundane cultural objects. One of its aims is to use images of popular culture in art in phase in facing the banal or kitschy elements of any culture, most often through the use of irony. It has also associated with the artist's use of mechanical means of reproduction or rendering techniques. In pop art, material is sometimes visually removed from its known context, isolated and combined with unrelated material. Pop art often takes imaginary that is currently in use in advertising. Product labeling and logos figure prominently in the imaginary chosen by pop artists seen in the labels of Campbell's Soup Cans by Andy Warhol. Performance art is a performance presented to an audience within a fine art context, traditionally interdisciplinary. Performance may be either scripted or inscripted, random or carefully orchestrated, spontaneous or otherwise carefully planned with or without audience participation. The performance can be live or via media. The performer can be present or absent. It can be any situation that involves four basic elements, time, space, the performer's body, or preference in a medium and a relationship between performer and audience. Performance art can be happen everywhere, in any type of venue or setting, and for any length of time. The action of an individual or a group at a particular place and in a particular time constitute the work. Here are some famous performance artists. Marina Abramovich, Chris Burden, Olan, and Yang Zhechiao. Video art is an art form which relies on using video technology as a visual and audio medium. Video art emerged during the late 1960s as new consumer video technology, such as a videotape recorders became available outside corporate broadcasting. Video art can, be, can take many forms, 
recording that are broadcast, installations viewed in galleries or museums, work streamed online, distributed as videotapes or DVDs, and performances which may incorporate one or more television sets, video monitors or projection displaying live or recorded images and sounds. Video art is named for the original analog videotape, which was the most commonly used recording technology in much of the form history into the 1990s. With the advent of digital recording equipment, many artists began to explore digital technology as a new way of expression. The most famous video artists are Namjoon Peck, Bill Viola, and Sonia Falcone. Technology is moving at a much faster pace than ever before, and artists have a huge range of the contemporary media and techniques to choose from. From 3D printing to interactive installation to conductive paint, artists have found myriad new ways to connect with the technology developed world we live in. Interactive art, online art, augmented reality, virtual reality, etc. Right now, it's working art is artists working with virtual reality who are really pushing the boundaries of contemporary art. However, developments in technology have always affected how artists produce art, and they will continue to do so in the future. With artists increasingly keen to question the effect of the digital age of our society, they will find ways to go on looking for new ways to engage in up and coming technology innovations. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was short, but hopefully you got some ideas of what I talked about. I hope you understood most of what I said though. Thanks a lot for watching and hope to see you soon. Goodbye.